Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to build a NOVA table by using calculator. In this video, we are going to focus on one factor ANOVA test. Consider the treatments X, Y, Z. Firstly, press menu, down, right. Look for statistics function, 6. Choose one variable, enter the value. Firstly, enter only the x values, so we should have 2, equal 4, equal 3, equal. Now press AC and press option. Down and look for variable number 2. We should bear in mind that S stands for sum of squares. For variance, is the mean square error. So which means that in order to obtain sum of square, we should take the various number 2 times the number of observations under the treatment x, which means that we have 3. Press equal and we should obtain 2. Now store this value to A. Next, proceed to the treatment y. Also press menu, statistics function 6, variable 1. And now enter the data. So we have 57546. Press AC option down variable 2. Again, select variance number 2. And this time we should times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 observations under the treatment Y. Press equal, we obtain the value and now store to B. Continue to the treatment Z. Press menu again. Also statistics 6. Choose one variable, enter the data, we have 2, 5, 3, 5. Also, AC option down, variable 2. Again, variance 2. And this time we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 observations. So we times 4. Press equal, obtain the value, store C. What we need here is sum of square, which stands for the total value. So we should have A plus B plus C. Press equal and we should obtain the sum of square error, which stands for the error within each group. We can now proceed to obtain the, the total sum of square. To obtain the value, also menu, statistics, one variable, enter all the data given by the question. So we have 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, 5, 4, 6, 2, 5, 3, 5. Press AC again option down variable 2 variance 2 and times altogether 12 observations so we times 12 press equal we obtain the correct total as we can see here to obtain the sum of square treatment very simple take the total value that we obtain minus the sum of square error which is 13.95 press equal and we should obtain the correct value as we can see here since we have three treatments to obtain the degree of freedom, minus 1, and hence we obtain 2. And altogether, we have 12 observation. Minus 1, we obtain 11. 11 minus 2, obtain 9. Or, we can take the total number of observations, which is 12, minus 3 treatments, and obtain 9. And now proceed to obtain the mean square error for treatment as well as error. So we take the sum of square 12.3 divided by 2 equal and we obtain the correct value. Also for the error, we have 13.95 divided by 9. Press equal, we obtain the correct value. To obtain the test statistics, take the mean for the treatment divided by mean for the error, which is 6.15 divided by 1.55. Press equal, we obtain the correct test statistics. And hence, with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.